Hey everyone, this is your intuitive yogi coach, Kancha, and today we're going to be doing a tapping exercise. We're going to be tapping towards, looking towards the future, right? What's emerging? So some of us are not in quite a fear zone. Some of us are not in quite a, um, you know, a fear, nervous, worried space, but we're kind of like, we're focused more on what's happening now. And what I want to do is shift the focus, shift my focus to focus on what is coming from this, what is emerging from this. So today we're going to be doing a tapping exercise, okay? Um, and basically what my point is, is that I want to put my focus more towards what, what, we, what is coming out of this, okay? So let's, um, let's begin by tapping on the side of the hand, right? If you know tapping, make sure you watch a tapping video before we do this tapping. Otherwise, let's get started with the side of the hand. And let's take a deep breath in. Good, good. I'm just acknowledging right where I am, right? Right, and take full responsibility for your emotions and yourself. And let's begin, right? I acknowledge right now that I'm just focused on what is and what has been. I fully acknowledge where I am right now. I'm feeling this, that there's a lot of this collective energy of fear that I'm, that is in my, that's in my, in my conscious, right? That's in my conscious. I am understanding that there's a lot of energy that can be around me as well that I'm feeling that I might be tapping into a little bit of, right? A little bit of maybe worry or doubt a little bit of maybe confusion. I fully acknowledge, acknowledge this and I completely love, honor, and accept myself no matter what. I understand that there's a lot of this heavy energy in the collective right now and I'm part of the collective. So of course I'm feeling a little bit of this energy and that's okay. I completely honor and love myself. Maybe I'm not fully feeling completely. Maybe I would like to shift my focus on what is coming from this? What is emerging from this? What do I have to look forward to in this? And through all these questions, I'm completely loving, honoring, and accepting myself right here, right now. And maybe there is a little bit of wondering how this will play out. Maybe there's a little bit of wondering how this will play out for my business and knowing that stepping into this virtual scene and this virtual world is a next step. And what's, what, what's interesting is that this is part of where I wanted to go, where, where I see myself going. And maybe I do feel a little nervous about that. Maybe feeling being pushed into it. Maybe feeling like I have to act now and I'm not sure what exactly to do. And I'm going to completely love, honor, and accept this feeling that I have right now. Maybe I know that I have all of this inspiration and all of these amazing ideas. And I am maybe feeling a little bit of pressure to act on every single one of them right now. And I'm not sure if this is going to be a good reward or not. And I'm going to completely love, honor, and accept this feeling that I have right now. The truth is that I know I'm a successful person. And I want to tap into all these different avenues that are exciting that are interesting and that maybe even feel a little bit intimidating and through these nerves i'm gonna love honor and accept myself and i already feel better <laughs> good going under the arm let's just take a deep breath in 
maybe I'm feeling really nervous because I'm not really sure how the virtual world will play out for me, right? And of course I know that how is not my job. How is the universe? It's my job to get in the energy of it. And as I'm getting in the energy of it, it does feel a little unsettling. And I'm gonna love and honor this feeling of feeling a little unsettled, right? It's stepping into a whole new zone. It's stepping into a whole new arena. And maybe that does feel really interesting. And maybe that does feel a little intimidating too, right? Kind of being pushed into it. And I'm going to love, honor, and accept this feeling that it's all good. That's okay if I feel a little nervous about that. Right? I have all of these great ideas for in-person events and in-person programs and in-person gatherings. And right now in quarantine, it's either that we put those in-person things on hold or we create this virtual gathering, these virtual connections, these virtual programs. And maybe I am, and maybe, and I'm gonna love, honor, and accept any of those feelings that come with this shift, right? This just a shift, readjusting to the virtual world. We're readjusting to this different way of connecting with people. And I'm going to love, honor, and accept this feeling of readjusting and maybe not knowing exactly how everything is going to pan out. And I'm going to love, honor, and accept that, you know, this is just like a baby that's learning how to walk. And if I'm not up and running, that's okay. Right now, I feel really good that I'm learning these new tools and that I'm learning and engaging in the virtual community in the online world. And I'm going to love, honor, and accept anything that comes up here because it is new. And it is interesting and it does offer so much more. It offers, you know, an aspect of working from home. It offers an aspect of less transportation time, less pollution in the air. There's so many things that it does offer. Let's take a deep breath in. And right now, maybe there is a little bit of doubt or maybe not understanding completely. And so I'm fo and there's a fo little bit of a focus on what is. You know, oh, this doubt. Oh, how does this work? Oh, are people going to respond? How is this going to play out? How is this going to pan out? And I'm going to love, honor, and accept these feelings. Let's take a deep breath in. Maybe I am feeling a little bit of pressure to act right now, right? A little prematurely. Maybe there is a little bit of pressure to do, 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 when really there's a little bit of planning involved. Maybe there's a little bit of understanding. Maybe there's a little bit of research. Maybe there's a little bit of tuning in and, and waiting for the inspired action. And I'm going to love, honor, and accept any of these feelings that are coming up right now. 
is totally normal to feel a little nervous when you're stepping into something new. Good. And as I'm stepping into this something new, there's a little bit of focus on what is happening right now, right? What is happening right now? This feeling of, will I ever get over this? Will it ever be just super easy, super, super easy navigating the online world? Will it ever be super easy like it is in real life, right? And I'm gonna love, honor, and accept this feeling Maybe it can be super, super easy. Maybe it can just be a flow, an inspired flow, an influx of the right ideas at the right time. And maybe thinking about what is possible is really exciting, right? It's really exciting to think of, you know, how many more people we have access to, right? How many more people we have access to help, how many more ideas we can bring to fruition to people who maybe don't have access to doing an in-person event. Right? And we know that our skills are excellent. We know that we have the goods. We know that it's worth. And any nervousness that comes up is completely natural, stepping into a whole new arena. And I'm going to love, honor, and accept any of that nervousness from wherever it comes from, whatever it is. Let's take a deep breath in. And I'm gonna allow myself now to focus on these new areas that are coming in, these new areas which are virtual, these new areas. There's so much that can come of it. And I ask my higher guidance to guide me to the next step, the right place at the right time. And I trust myself. I trust that I'm gonna be guided to the right place at the right time, the next best step that's perfect, perfectly in alignment, that feels good. I'm gonna be guided to the perfect next step. And when I am guided, I'm gonna feel that energy in my heart center that says, go, 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 let's do this. And it's not gonna feel like pressure. It's gonna feel like love. It's gonna feel like this joy, this rapturous joy. It's gonna feel connected. It's gonna feel loving. So let's take a deep breath in. When we can think of all the people that may need help right now on the planet, all the people that are needing some inspiration, all these people that are needing some good energy, all the people that are needing this essence, this essence. The essence that, that, that we embody right here in this moment, this, this essence, this pure, this good essence. And I'm gonna love, honor, and accept any emotions that are less than this essence that it that is a natural embodiment i'm honoring any of the doubt i'm honoring it and i'm accepting that it's there and that it's feeling much better now let's take a deep breath in And maybe let's talk about 
what we are moving forward in, what we are moving towards, right? We're moving towards more virtual offerings that are successful, that people need, that people want, that people desire. We're moving towards more virtual offerings that is going to help sustain us and help us thrive, right? I'm moving toward all of these virtual offerings that are helping sustain and thrive me. This is just a new arena that I've been wanting to tap into, but now this is a good thing, right? Being pushed into it, this is a good thing. Because otherwise, when would we go into it? We probably wouldn't. We probably would stay in that comfort zone, right? So maybe it's good that we're being pushed into this, right? It's not only good for the planet, but it's good for we can spend more time with, you know, doing what we love instead of driving to the next client or instead of, you know, wasting gas and polluting the air. And maybe this is a good thing. Maybe if this virtual, these virtual uh, new stuff that we're stepping into is a really good thing all around. It doesn't mean we don't want to do any more live offerings. It just means that now we've expanded to doing live offerings and virtual offerings. And we're just tapping into this energy that what's to come of this, right? What's coming for me? What's, what's in the future? This future energy, what would it feel like? It would feel like it would feel super easy. It would feel aligned. It would feel empowering. It would feel like so many people are getting benefit, not just me, but so many people are getting benefit out of this. It would feel so good to be able to help the community while being right here, maybe right here in the comfort of your home where you can, you know, maybe do those off the wall, crazy, beautiful healing modalities that is too shy to do in person, right? Maybe, well, maybe it's a good thing that we get to do it in our, the comfort of our own space so that we're inspired to more powerful action. Maybe this is a good thing that we're being pushed into this virtual, more virtual world now that there's so many wonderful things that are happening around the planet. All these good things would have never come about. All these good, this, you know, the ozone layer healing. Right? Being able to, being able to work with maybe hundreds or thousands of people where in person it would be have to be an arena sold out but in virtual you can have hundreds or thousands of people in a group program and still have every single one of them receive benefit tons of benefit let's take a deep breath in and what's to come what is coming from this what is all the good benefit from this Right, maybe there are so many more people than the people that are local in your community. Maybe there are so many more people out there who could really benefit from your essence, who could really benefit from this essence. Right, we know how many people on the planet right now and maybe going through a lot of crazy stuff and here we are ready to serve. Right, I know I am here ready to serve and maybe there is a little bit of nervousness on how that's gonna be accomplished. Right, I know that I have all this energy to give and I'm just sitting here in my living room like, okay, I'm ready to do this, what's next? What's next? right and maybe the maybe the inspired action is coming maybe the inspired action is on its way yes i can feel that the inspired action is on its way it's right around the corner in fact it might not even be right around the corner it could be right here at my fingertips this inspired action to take i feel inspired to do tapping 
right here. I'm going to share this, something that's my personal story I'm sharing with everybody here. So maybe the inspiration is here. Maybe the inspiration is right here for me. And I'm going to honor and accept it right here. That whether that is a big form of inspiration or a little form of inspiration, I have the inspiration right here. And maybe anybody watching this video, we have the inspiration. And just keep tapping and allowing any of those emotions to come up and just release, right? And just release. Right? It's okay to wonder what's to come, right? How do we, what's coming from this? Right? What's the inspired action that, that I'm going to receive today? What is that inspired action? What is that inspired action that we're here to live in this inspired way? Right? Yes, we're in a living room. Yes, we're just maybe doing yoga all day or whatever it is that we're doing all day. Maybe meditating all day. That's what I've been doing so much. Just loving this meditation all day. But, right, we also have this desire to take action. We have this desire to serve the community in a way that feels good, that doesn't feel pressured. Right? And I know that I have so much good energy to give. So here, I'm just ready for it. Right? I'm ready for it. I'm ready for that beautiful inspiration that's coming. I'm ready to feel so safe. I'm ready to feel like this I'm, I'm feeling safe. I'm feeling inspired. I'm feeling much, much better than when we first started. And I'm loving, honoring, and accepting any feelings that come up. Anything that's coming up. I'm going to love it and honor it right here, right now. Right? We have so much inspiration happening on YouTube. Right, virtually. We have so much inspiration in our hearts. We have so much inspiration in our mind and our third eye. We have so much inspiration from all the people that are putting good energy out there. Right, we might be getting such good inspiration from our partner. Good, and I'm so ready to tap into that inspiration now and to feel better about maybe this next step that is coming. Right? Maybe all the people that I'm going to get to serve soon, now. And I'm so looking forward to what the future has for me in this virtual arena. I really am. I'm looking forward to seeing how this is going to play out, right? Working from home in different ways being able to communicate and work with so many different people. I am open to receiving any and all of those amazing people that feel resonant to work with me, whether it's through my coaching, whether it's through my yoga, whether it's through my energy work. I'm so ready to take the next step. I'm so ready to take action in my living room. I'm so ready for that inspired action right now. I'm ready for it. I'm so ready to keep the vibes high, baby. <laughs> oh, let me say that again. I'm so ready to keep the vibes high, baby. I'm so ready to keep the vibes high. I'm so ready to take the breaks that I need to. I'm so ready to work with those people who need it. I'm so ready to put myself out there. I'm so ready to put myself out there in a way that resonates. I'm so excited 
to work with my next few people. I'm so excited and ready. I'm so ready to take inspired action, aligned action. Not just any old action, but the, the action with the energy behind it. I'm so ready to take the virtual action. <laughs> I'm so ready to, to see what this next virtual step is. What is my next virtual step? Right? This is a whole new ball game. I don't know. I may not know the exact perfect answer to what my next virtual step is, but this is something that I've been wanting to tap into, right? As this virtual world. This is something that has been exciting for me. This is something that has been interesting. This is something that I would love to tap into more. This is something that I am excited to tap into more. So let's take a deep breath in. Good. And yes, I'm tapping here and I'm also tapping into the virtual world. Right, what are my next step? May I be aligned? May my inner being guide me to inspired action, right? And I've been having all of this amazing inspired action for so many different arenas of my life recently. It's amazing, like in this quarantine, meditation has guided me to so much inspired action that has helped so many different things, my work, my relationship, everything. And I know that going virtually is no different. I'm gonna be inspired to make different offerings virtually. And I'm super excited about that. And I'm looking forward to what's to come. I'm looking forward to the future, what this is gonna, what it feels like to be that version. Right? What does it feel like to be that version now? Right? Not what is it going to be like, but what is it now? Right? If time is if time is a quantum, right? And we are in all places at once or whatever they say. Right? The way that I see that is energetically we can be. So let's energetically be in that super successful virtual Let's be that super successful virtual coach, that virtual yoga coach now, right? Or whatever coach that you are, whatever your offering is, you might be an energy healer, right? You might be a teacher, you might be a guru, whatever it is that you are, what is that version, that highly successful version online version that virtual you what is what is she or he or they like what is that person like right now okay i'm feeling that i'm feeling the vibes on you know that this is safe i'm gonna just tap my little safety bowl this is quartz and obsidian obsidian takes away all the negative energy So I'm tapping into this feeling that, right, this highly successful virtual yogini coach energy guide is feeling so safe, secure, and feeling so joyful about the offerings. Feel, I'm feeling so joyful about what I'm putting out, these offerings that I'm putting out. I'm feeling so clear and aligned about the offerings that are being put out. Yes, 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 that feels good. Yes. And if there's a sliver, an inkling of that something doesn't feel right, that's okay. I'm going to love and honor it. I'm accepting it. I'm accepting that this is a new step, that this is a new thing. And it's all good. It's all good. No matter what happens, I'm safe right now. I feel good right now. And this highly successful virtual entrepreneur who is me, I am this 
highly successful virtual entrepreneur, right? And say it to yourself, I am. Let's take a deep breath in. Right? I'm taking aligned action, right? Even right now, I'm aligned to do this tapping with you. Right? So being being in alignment is is doing the unexplained, the unexplainable, right? The maybe the something you couldn't explain to anybody else, right? That's the aligned action is, oh, okay, I gotta do this because it feels right. Oh, it doesn't make sense to you, that's okay. Right? I gotta do this because it feels right for me and I know it's gonna be right, right? So, and I'm loving, honoring, and accepting any feelings that are adverse to that. Anything that's conscious, unconscious, or subconscious. I'm honoring any of those feelings that are coming up. And that highly successful entrepreneur, or virtual online entrepreneur, is taking aligned action, right? Being themselves, right? Being themselves completely, honoring themselves, enjoying themselves, right? Feeling safety in their offerings and knowing that they're just a magnet, right? We're a magnet to the people that resonate with our offering, or our offerings. Right, I'm a magnet to those who want the service that I provide. I'm a magnet to those who desire the kind of service that I am good at. I'm a magnet to those people who need the assistance that I know I can offer. I am a magnet right now to those energies, to those people. I am a magnet right here in this space, here in my living room. I'm still a magnet, a virtual magnet. Let's take a deep breath in. Good. And I'm just going to be myself and I'm going to exude that energy. I'm going to exude my natural, authentic essence. And hope, and anybody that is ready and picks up the call, right? Answer the phone, honey. <laughs> yes. And we're going to just honor and accept any feelings that feel like, oh, I'm not a beacon. No, you're a beacon of light. I am a beacon of light. Right? When you see a beacon of light, you're drawn toward it, right? If you're drawn toward it, that's a resonance. I now call in any and all of those people who resonate with this beacon of light, my beacon of light. And I'm called to answer any inspired action by doing, by doing what I need to do. Whether that is you know, sending out a mass email to my people, whether that is putting a post on Instagram, whether that is creating that YouTube video, whether that is creating an inspired post, whether that is meditating during the day, whether that is stretching my body, whether that is going on a walk, I am going to be doing all of those inspired actions today, whether that is tapping for everybody here. Right? And any time that I don't maybe feel or anytime that I feel any other way, then I'm gonna love and honor and accept that. But right now I feel really inspired. I feel really good. I feel really aligned. I feel in tune with my natural essence, with my natural energy. And I know that I'm in the right place at the right time, right here and now. Yes, in my living room tapping. This is where I'm supposed to be, right here. And my next inspired action, I'm going to take it full throttle, ready to go. And it's going to feel so good. And if anything does come up, I'm going to honor that feeling. And I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going because this is a new muscle that I'm learning to flex, okay? (laughs) This is a new muscle that I'm learning to flex. And right now, you know, I'm not lifting 300 pound weights at the gym. I'm lifting about 25, 30, 40, 50 pounds, right? So 
I'm honoring this journey. This is just a journey that, we're, that I'm on right now. It's just this virtual journey. And I'm going to know when the next step is and when the next right action to take is. And when I feel that call, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to take it. And during the meantime, I'm going to meditate. I'm going to tune into my vibration. I'm going to tune into my highest energy. I'm going to continue to inspire. <laughs> and I'm looking toward the future. I'm looking towards the future. I'm going to embody the concha, the me, that is that successful virtual entrepreneur. And say it to yourself, I am here and now going to continue to embody this successful, highly sought after, highly paid, connected, aligned, helpful, integritous, virtual entrepreneur that I am. Let's take a deep breath in. Good. Good. Beautiful. Good. And if you're still here with me, right? If you decide that you need some extra support, you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you want to do some yoga with me, right? Then I want you to check out my offerings at ConchaJoy.com and hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day because you know what? I know I feel so much better too. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay? Namaste.